Hi, I'm Kale from ProGraphics, and today we're going to review how to install one of our OEM style custom graphics kits. Step number one, we want to make sure that we've got our panels off of the sled. Uh, we bring them inside on a nice, clean, uh, dry bench. We want to make sure that the panels are actually at room temperature. Uh, this way that your panels will be warm and the decals will actually bond properly to the surface. To get started, you'll need the following. X-Acto knife, sharp scissors, squeegee, which we provide, masking tape, heat gun or hair dryer, paper towels, glass cleaner, spray bottle full of water with uh, just a drop of liquid dish soap. Okay, so this is a typical OEM style kit. It comes rolled up in the box. Uh, first thing you want to do when you get it is take it out of the box, unroll it, lay it flat on, the, uh, on a nice smooth surface in a room temperature environment. The next step we want to do is we want to take our graphic kit, lay it flat on the table, and simply cut out each piece. We want to cut them out fairly close, say within half inch to a quarter inch of the edge of each decal. The reason for this is they're easier to handle and easier to set in place before we stick them down. Next step, we want to clean our panels and make sure that everything is uh, ready and prepared to install your, your decals. Uh, first thing we want to do is use basically just a, a glass cleaner, uh, something that is a detergent that will remove any loose dirt or anything that's on the surface of the panel. Uh, some things to keep in mind when you're cleaning panels. Uh, this panel you can see here is yellow and there are some uh, black marks, finger marks. Um, sometimes with these textured panels you will get some oil and grease residue uh, just from general handling and, and general uh, um, maintenance. So what you can do is you can use um, either a methyl hydrate or rubbing alcohol. Uh, if you spray it on, I'm using methyl hydrate here and I'm spraying it liberally onto the panel just trying to get any leftover residue. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, if, you've ever, if you have a used sled and you've ever applied armor all or any kind of uh, protectant to your panel, um, that stuff will actually create a film on your panel that makes it difficult for graphics to stick to. So if, if you have ever done that, I would highly recommend that you use an alcohol-based or, or a light solvent-based uh, cleaner just to clean that panel and get it so that there's nothing left on there. You want it to be spotless and you want it to be just the plastic. You don't want it to feel slippery. If it feels slippery, clean it until it doesn't. Best way to determine whether your panel is actually clean is to take a clean paper towel, rub it all over your panel. It should feel like it's a little bit abrasive. It should stick a little bit to the panel. And when you turn it over, you should see that it's still white. If you've got dirt or any kind of discoloration on there at all, that means your panel isn't clean. You gotta go back and repeat all the steps that I just reviewed. Next step, we want to plan our installation. We want to make sure that we've got our each individual decal positioned the way we want it. Um, there aren't any specific measurements for each kit. It basically is your judgment and up to you to position it the way you think it looks best. Um, you take each individual decal and basically just using masking tape, little pieces uh, under two inches long, and position each one where you think it should go. You want to position all of the decals on the side panel before you install anything, just to make sure that you don't have any overlapping or anything that doesn't line up quite right. Okay, next step, once we've got everything taped in place, we want to get our sharp X-Acto knife, be careful. And we want to basically trim, and this, again, be careful, you don't want to cut through the tape into the panel and score the panel. So you have to be very gentle. Make sure you've got a decent sharp knife. And you just want to cut through the tape. You want to cut halfway so that you leave half the tape on the panel, half the tape with the decal. This way I will have a reference to position my decal once I'm ready to stick it down, like so. Once we've got our uh, tape trimmed, you want to take your decal, you want to flip it face over so that it's face down on the table, and basically you just want to grab a corner. Now the, 
I should, before I do that, I should probably point out this is pre-mask, it's called. It's on the face of your decal. It's just a th like a thin layer of uh, masking tape, basically. It is actually on there just to protect the face while you're squeegeeing it down so it doesn't get scratched. And as well, it gives a little more rigidity to the, the decal, makes it a little bit easier to handle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it over. We gotta get the corner started here. And we're just basically gonna pull this back and remove the liner paper. Uh, please be very careful. This is the uh, back of the decal is very, very sticky. You don't wanna stick it to itself. Um, it's very difficult to get apart. If it happens, um, you may end up buying another piece. So just be careful. Uh, once you've got it face up like this, you've got your liner paper off, just grab it and bring it up to the panel and line up your pieces of tape, just like so. Now the nice part about these textured panels for the side panel on the Rev or the XP is that it has a texture so the, the high points actually will keep the decal from sticking down quickly and you know you can you can actually lift it back up if you need to replace it or remove it and uh, reposition it and again line it up with the tape take your squeegee that we provided uh, the key is you want to start in the middle and work towards the outside so basically you can work top to bottom like this so squeegee it both ways, squeegee it all the way down. Make sure you're pressing fairly hard. Once you've got it positioned and you're, you've got it squeegeed down, don't be afraid to go over it a couple more times just to ensure that it is in fact down and stuck to the surface. Okay, so our next step is to remove the pre-mask, the tape that's on the face of the decal. You'll notice as I pull this back, our tape that we cut the piece is remaining there and it should be lined up where we wanted it. And as we pull this back, we, we don't want to pull straight up. We want to pull it back on itself 180 degrees so that we're not lifting the decal as we're pulling. Okay, next step, once we've got all of our pre-mask off, we want to just inspect and make sure that all the edges are in fact stuck down. If uh, you find anything that wasn't, just use your finger and make sure that there's no, uh, you know, it's not sticking up. Uh, and then the next step we want to do is we've got to use a heat gun. Uh, heat gun is going to warm up the surface of the decal and actually soften the adhesive so that it bonds to the, the rough texture of the side panels. Uh, the, you only need to use the heat gun for the side panel applications. Uh, smooth uh, plastic surfaces are fine, you don't need a heat gun. So what we're going to do, we want to take our squeegee. Uh, you want to just take a, you can use a paper towel and basically just wrap the end of your squeegee in the paper towel. The uh, reason you're going to do this is just so that the squeegee won't scratch the face of your decal. Uh, second thing you need is your heat gun. Uh, so all you're going to do, you don't want to get too hot, but you want to get it warm enough that it's warm to the touch. So you're going to turn the heat gun on, you're going to go over all of, the, all of the decals, and at the same time you're going to take the squeegee and just gently burnish it down. You don't want to, you want to be careful on any corners so that you don't catch anything and roll them up. Um, but anyway, just, just heat it, make sure that it's all extremely bonded to the surface and uh, that should guarantee your, your decals won't come off when it's cold. Okay, once we've finished our panel off, we're gonna, we're gonna move to the hood. Uh, now the hood is different because we have smooth plastic. Um, the adhesive that we have on our decals is a high tack adhesive. So um, this best way to do this is to apply it using the wet method. So let's review that. First of all, I've got this obviously trimmed so that I can see exactly where it lines up. Now this, a good idea because this is a uh, symmetrical decal and it's going to run down the center of your hood, the best way to do this is to actually draw a line, a center line, on your decal so that you've got that as a reference to line up. Okay, next up, turn the decal over face down. Again, pull the liner paper off of the back. Be very careful, do it very slowly, especially with uh, pieces that have these little points. Sometimes they can lift. If they do, um, just flip it back down and, and if you rub this down, it'll actually stick it to the pre-mask so it doesn't come off. Okay, so we've got that. Now we're gonna take our soap and water. Uh, this is a solution of 
It's basically just water in a bottle with one drop of uh, liquid dish detergent. So we're going to take that, we're basically going to mist it. You can put as much on here as you want, it doesn't really matter. So you can see I can kind of float it around. I line up my piece or my, my uh, line there so it's lined up top and bottom. Now again you want to work from the center out. So I'm just going to use my finger, I'm going to hold this down because there is a ridge that runs through the center of the, the uh, panel. It's still a little bit wet underneath, but I'm going to try and pull this off. So again, when you pull the pre-mask off, you want to basically pull it back on itself, not up, but straight back. And in doing so, just do it very slowly. You can see right here, it's starting to come up a little bit. I can use my finger and just, you, ideally, you just want to get the water out from underneath it. It will need to sit for a little while longer to dry out. Uh, but you can see, and there we go. Now, I wouldn't recommend that you take this out and stick it out on your sled in a minus 10 degree uh, weather because what will happen is the water that's in behind there will freeze and the adhesive will never get a real good chance to bond to the, uh, the actual panel. So keep this inside. Uh, I would keep it in overnight. Uh, hopefully you're not going riding right away. And just let this thing dry out. Don't be afraid to come back after. Go over it with your finger. You can go over it with your squeegee and just make sure that there are no bubbles and no little areas that are lifting up. And that's about it. For more information or to purchase one of our wrap or OEM style graphic kits, please visit prographics.ca.